This video is for paper one revision and I'm going to cover the topic of cell biology. This is going to be a very quick um, coverage of what you need to know. There are more detailed videos particularly on cell biology in Dr. Biology so if you're not already subscribed then please do so. So uh, the first topic, cell biology, includes cell structure, cell division, which includes mitosis, and transport in cells, which is related to diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. And there's also uh, knowledge of two required practicals for uh, combined science and for the GCSE biology. There is a third practical activity related to microbiology. If your school uses Caboodle, then those uh, these are the pages that uh, you need to look at. Okay, so those are the pages for Caboodle. Okay, so what do we need to know for biology paper one cell biology? Probably the easiest part of this section is looking at um, the structure and function of animal and plant cells. Uh, you will need to know the main structures, uh, particularly things like the cytoplasm, nucleus, cell membrane, uh, but also know the differences between the two. So a plant cell has additionally has a cellular cell wall, a permanent vacuole and chloroplast. You'll need to know that bacteria cells are very different because they have strings of DNA called plasmids or loops of DNA, sorry, called plasmids. Um, and also their structures. So again, you need to know about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. This brings me to um, the first required practical, and the first required practical is related to how to use a microscope. So if you go on to Dr. Biology, there is uh, that video there to help you. You'll need to know the main structures and their functions. So the function is basically what job it does. These are relatively easy to um, understand and I would just revise them so that you can um, recall them. So possibly what you could do is you could maybe uh, do a card sort or you could test yourself now by covering up half of the answers and see uh, how you get on. You'll need to know um, how to use um, microscopes and also you need to understand how to do calculations. This is what I call the I am triangle. Um, so the best way I can describe it is that if I want to find the actual, uh, sorry, the image size, all right, I would then take the actual and I'd multiply it with the magnification. If I wanted to find the actual size of what I was looking at in the microscope, I would then take the image size and then I would do divide it by the magnification. Key thing to remember is that you're going to be doing measurements in millimetres and to convert it into micrometers, you always times your answer by a thousand and that will give you your micrometers. Again, there is a video in Dr. Biology that goes into this in a, a lot more detail with some exam questions to help you with your revision. There are five um, specialist, specialised cells that you will need to know, which are sperm cells, nerve cells, muscle cells, and then for plants you'll need to know root hair cells, phloem and xylem cells. So actually that's six, actually not five. Um, and you'll need to uh, be able to recognise what they look like, you'll be able to understand their adaptations for how they work um, and uh, be able to, to describe their structures. You'll also need to know about stem cells, so basically how do cells differentiate at an early stage, so they, they become, they're unspecialised or undifferentiated and how do they become other types of cell. You also need to know about the pros and cons of using stem cells, so evaluating um, whether they're useful and what are the issues in using those stem cells. You'll also have to learn about cell division.
So this is when the nucleus of a cell contains chromosomes made of DNA molecules. Each chromosomes, they carry a large number of genes. So in body cells, chromosomes are normally found in pairs. The cells divide, okay, and this means that uh, this allows you to grow and produce new cells to repair and maintain existing cells. Uh, this is a doctor biology top tip. I would learn these different stages. Uh, very important to know that and also be able to draw the processes of mitosis.